We're speaking today with Mary Ellen Jones, who is president of the Engine Alliance. Thank you very much for seeing me. And, nice to have you here, Addison. And I'd like to start off, we are just but gone through the first five years, the five year anniversary of the A380 in service. And uh, what's your view on the five years, if you look back on the program? Well, coincidentally, Airbus just hosted an A380 symposium in Dubai for all of its operators and key suppliers and partners. So we got a good overview from them on how the airplane has been doing in service these five years. Uh, so certainly from their perspective and from our perspective uh, as the engine manufacturer, uh, the airplane has been a very great success. Um, it's enjoyed a lot of popularity with, uh, with passengers. Uh, certainly we know from our customer base that the airlines are quite happy with the way they're able to fill the airplane, with the profit they're able to make from the airplane. Um, we know that Airbus has made great strides in improving the reliability of the airplane, which is obviously very important when you're looking at uh, transporting 500 people at a time. Um, and it certainly is still, even five years later, is a very big attention getter at the airports it serves. Uh, and it has other airports and other passengers clamoring for it. Uh, so I think all in all it has proven to be a very positive program, uh, you know, certainly a flagship airplane for Airbus and its operators. And I think it's been a good success for the Engine Alliance as well. When one looks forward, the future of the VLA, very large airplane, how do you see that future? Um, you know, there's been this big discussion between point to point and hub versus hub, and hub to hub. There's this constant argument within the industry. What's your view on the future of the VLA, regardless of that uh, that argument? Well, we definitely see a strong future for the VLA. I mean, we see the, the growth forecast for traffic in the coming decades. And the only way to accommodate that growth is with a mix of point to point and hub to hub. Um, and even we've seen, even though the A380, I think, was initially envisioned as going from megacity to megacity, we've actually seen other applications of it, you know, flying into Manchester in the UK, for example, or into Jeddah, so into, you know, certainly secondary type cities. So there seems to be an appeal uh, and a market need for it across uh, many markets. Uh, and we think that the VLA category is, is a very worthwhile and a very important market for the decades to come. And when one looks at the current 380 program, could you share some thoughts of how you feel you're competing against uh, the other guys? Uh, well, we do enjoy uh, the majority of engine orders uh, at the moment. Um, you know, Emirates is the biggest customer for the A380 with 90 airplanes on order, and all of those 90 airplanes will be powered by GP engines. Uh, we're also very happy to have our other customers to include Air France, Korean Air, Qatar, Etihad, and Air Austral. Um, so, you know, we're doing very well competitively. In large part, I think that's because we have very good reliability, the best reliability on the airplane. Uh, we've got excellent fuel performance. Um, and we, we bring the strong legacy of GE and Pratt and & Whitney, 180 years combined uh, of technology, excellence, and customer service. Uh, so, you know, we feel we're in a very good place in the market, and we get very good reviews from our customers. It's interesting that when one looks at the, the uh GP program, the, incre the incredible news is that there's no news at all. It just a quiet, quietly goes about, does its thing. And we're very happy about that. I mean, the last thing you want to worry about on an airplane is the engine, right? And, and I think that's been the case for the GP. Um, you know, we, and we're returning value to our customers as well. In addition, you know, the reliability is obviously a very real benefit. Um, you know, safety is always a given, you know, for any engine maker. Um, and then on the fuel performance, I think, is where we're providing some very good returns. You know, we, we are better than the competition in that regard uh, to the tune of about, uh, when you quantify it, about a million dollars per aircraft per year uh, in better fuel economy. Um, so that's something that, you know, our, our customers are very sensitive to and very appreciative of. Uh, in fact, we've had three improvements in the Airbus Performance Handbook over the last few years as we've improved uh, our fuel performance. Are there any other things that you want to share in terms of the in-service uh, performance of the engine? Um, well, certainly the environmental aspects of the engine are very compelling, as they are for the airplane as a whole. You know, we know the, the airplane and the engines are extremely quiet. Uh, you know, the, the emissions contribution is much lower, less than in uh, previous technology products. Um, and I think across the board, it's just a very strong, holistic solution uh, to airplanes seeking to, to carry their passengers in comfort um, and in quiet, reliable operation. Thank you very much.